Hello, and welcome to the show. We're back on a GTA 5 with some more racing around custom street tracks. Today's silly grid actually looks like an almost sensible car park. Look at this. It's amazing. They're, I mean, they're mostly well lined up. I mean, you're not going to get out of that car over there. But on the most part, well, we've kind of gradually got more and more, I guess, perpendicular to the road rather than the sort of... It's kind of staggered start. You know what? We'll go. We'll go back here. We're gonna. We're gonna just sit here and probably watch the mayhem unfold. Let's be honest, because it's gonna be glorious. Uh, into this first. Oh, off, off the line. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of cars. There's a lot of cars going around with their roof sticking up. Could have been worse, actually. Like, there was enough space. Everybody was well behaved. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 well, mostly well behaved. I might have started a slight bit of misbehaving. There's danger. Oh, danger! I almost had an air brake going on for a while. Uh, we are going to be oh, on the outside a little bit through here. Oh, Stevie has stayed on the road. Well done. Well done. We're, we're tenth at the moment. We've not really made all that much progress. Now, this is a fast bit of track that we are coming up to uh, straight off the bat. And we don't necessarily want to be in a big group going through here. Two wide is sketchy. Three wide, four wide is asking for disaster. Uh, it's quite close to flat out there on a clean lap. I say on a clean lap. I'm more as a traffic-free run through there, you're less likely to get into trouble. This bump. Yeah, that can be a nasty corner. It can get you in all sorts of trouble. We've got a really good run, though, off of the exit. There is... I mean, it's just busy at the moment. It's just take your time. It's lap one out of five. There's no point sticking your car in a wall trying to be sneaky somewhere and, yeah, gain a, you know, gain seventh place and put your car in a wall on lap one. Oh, that's a huge two-wheel moment for the green car. It's a massive, massive two-wheel moment for the green car. Now, that is something we're going to have to look out for. I had forgotten about that being a thing that the felon does until we just witnessed that if you run the curbs with this car so if you load the car up and run a curb around these corners especially the high speed corners you can be get in trouble you can get in a lot of trouble with the felon it's something that we're likely to see uh, occur a bit hopefully gonna have to be a far way to deal with it basically we stuck around all of the mess that went on at the hairpin that is the difficulty with the, I say the difficulty. one of the things that can go with the hairpin um, if you have a little bit converging line, and if someone gets caught out by slipstream, which I think is what happened on there, just caught out by an immense amount of speed suddenly going along, uh, we have got none. Oh, yeah, we are way too far back from the lead pair who have made a little bit of a break. Uh, oh, a little little bump, no harm done. <laughs> oh no, we're not going to be able to duck down and follow. No, nope, we can't follow Danger Man across as of yet. Just want to get some slipstream uh, from anybody. I mean, the lead two are going to get caught in no time. That's what catch up does. It keeps their racing relatively close on the most part. Stinty's had a horrific accident off the back of Tatum Man's car. <laughs> what? What was that? I mean, you could have done that better if you tried. I don't even think I could do that intentionally if I was looking for a cinematic crash. That was ridiculous. <laughs> we knew these things... Well, let's say we knew these. We learned these things rolled off of the curbs. Apparently they rolled off the back of other cars. I thought these could bump draft relatively well. Oh... Uh, shot a little bit too far into there, although I guess we stayed ahead of Nine Tails, which is something. Um, now, the lead pair have been caught. Scotty and Twisty have now got a lot of company, but it doesn't necessarily mean I can do very much. At the moment, this is just bide time. Again, it's don't throw the car, don't have a crash, don't have an unnecessary crash on lap two. If we can make a move, go for it. However, we're already too wide on these streets, we're not going to be able to join in. Danger Man had a huge wobble. I just could bail out in time. In fact, Danger Man had a huge wobble. We had to actually kind of bail, completely change our line to avoid it. We almost got the better of it. I just ran the curve a bit too much there. Lost the back end, uh, which is not what we want. There's nowhere to go at the moment. Uh, oh, yeah, there is. I say there's nowhere to go. Gliska's is going to put the wheels almost over the edge. Just brave. I didn't really want to go for that one personally. It was worth it in the end for Gliska. As you can see, they got to the lead. But uh, for me, that seemed a little risky. Can we get... Oh, sorry, I'm kind of gladly and wasn't. I had a horrible feeling. I didn't really check before chasing Twisty across the road. I had a horrible feeling Liam might have been there. Um, yeah, we can... Oh, I think I might have turned Danger Man a little bit. That was a slightly sketchy bump draft. God, these, these cars. I mean, it's good racing. It just makes me nervous. Oh, Gliska and Scotty, I think, was there. Gliska just on two wheels. Couldn't turn. Uh, <laughs> right. Are we in a good place? back here. We get a good run. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, Liam is to the inside and gets everybody. The white car. Oh. God, might have won that run. I don't even know. Don't 
don't even know. So yeah, Slipstream Pulse, this track here, Slipstream towards the finish line is very, very important. However, what you can find... Oh, Liam is gone! <laughs> oh, Liam almost saved it. Liam almost got that car down on the ground, just not quite in time. Now, there is still a little bit of race to go. You might be able to recover from a one checkpoint reset, especially if we're fighting. Especially if, let's face it, there's a good chance we're going to roll over as well at some point. We've seen so many cars already tumble out. It's a very fair race approved event, this, so far. We've had a number of cars tumble their way out of the race. We're going to get to the inside of Twisty. Uh, not quite going to complete the pass, though. Oh, through there. I lose the back end big time over the kerbs. Not, not what we were after. We're going to be on the outside through this one. Uh, I, oh, there was a mess going on. I think green car was waiting and might not quite got out of the way well enough. We're we're fine. We're in third at the moment as Twisty and Ninetales fight side by side. Longbow might come and join us in the not too distant future. I probably shouldn't run the curb there actually. Uh, it's not even about corner cutting. It's just the curb you lose so much time if you sort of start spinning the car or anything silly. So. Yeah, we're probably not gonna not gonna run that line again. Don't have a big dive up the hairpin. It's not really worth it. Uh, it's almost a bit too risky when there's a lot of different lines. Or you can take a lot of different lines. I mean, we're gonna want to all take a fairly similar line. However, there is an inherent risk uh, if somebody is taking a different line. We will this time around get the big slipstream run towards these final corners. Although Nine Tails is gonna fight back. We're gonna give space or go. Space on the inside, space on the outside. Just about. There's enough room for three cars wide on this. Oh, not quite. Uh, see, so there's a few different schools of thought on the, this sort of battle to the finish line. If you're too close to the car in head, you don't actually get slipstream anyway. So, for example, in this one here, I didn't really get any slipstream uh, off of the car ahead to really get that sort of slingshot going. If you're too far back, you won't get it. We won't have time, perhaps, to make the slipstream work. Oh, no! We got GTA collision off of it. Can I ping the checkpoint while underneath it down here? No, uh, yes, I can, but we're going to have to reset. Yeah, that was... So, Nine Tails hit the back of my car, and my car just steered on its own accord. <laughs> and Nine Tails has waited for us. It's just... That's so bad luck. I don't even know if Nine Tails didn't get an issue on the curb or something, because we've seen cars do that all day. Oh, no. We're not going to really find out the battle to the line, I don't think. Maybe not with these cars. Uh, I think we're going to be too far back. We're going to have our own little fight over ninth place. Um... I mean, there's, I say there's, there's always a chance. It's going to be limited. There's a green car stuck on a wall. <laughs> so that's Scozzi or Longbow. Someone was in trouble on that one. Oh, we're going to bounce around a little bit. Maybe sixth might be achievable here. Sixth might be... <laughs> the two-wheeled antics. Two-wheeled antics have been amazing coming out of these cars, if you can hold it. You don't go over. I think one of the things we've seen is it's, it's not necessarily just about the two-wheeled antics, whether you can hold it. It's whether the two-wheeled antics put your car in front of somebody else and what they can do if they can avoid it or if you both get carted off the track. Uh, it's not good for anybody, really. Ewan is across the grass, across the... See, I really do think that is faster, actually, to not even take that corner cut. Uh, <laughs> I don't really think it is a corner cut, personally. I think you lose too much time, like, bobbling across the curbs and so on. If we could get up to the purple car... I think it's a purple car. I don't actually know what colour. No, it's Liam actually up there. Never mind. Ignore me. Apparently I'm blind from long range. If we can catch up to Liam, and if we can bring Ewan with us, could we see a last minute charge? I don't know. I think we're too far back, really. I was also doing very, very silly stuff trying to get some speed on those curbs. It was a little bit unnecessary, perhaps. Uh, well, yeah, it might, that might have been a little bit overkill. A little bit silly attempts. Uh, now, Liam... Oh. Ah, okay, so Twisty's fallen back. That means there may have been a bit of a bump uh, up ahead. Is it going to be the final lap of the race now? Oh, I didn't want to go to that side. I thought there was more space than there was. That was uh, dangerous, is basically what that one there was. Uh, we're around there, no problem. This time out, we get a tap and doesn't launch our car off the track. And the Felon is a little inconsistent. It is generally better for close racing, the Felon. It's one of the original game cars. They generally are, um, but can still get unhappy. Liam has actually worked his way up past Blisker and Twisty. Oh, we really need to get in the draft. If we can get in the draft of Twisty's car, that would be wonderful here. Uh, if we bring Ewan with us, then it's good news for Ewan. This guy's just stuck on the wall. Um, but, of course, Twisty's got slipstream off of Blisker, so he's actually kind of pulling away a little bit from me. Yeah, I mean, if we were going we to really stand a chance, we'd have to be working our way forward more at this juncture. There may still be a mess. Oh... 
Liam had an issue on their own. We've got tangled up in this fight. I think we're going to have a fight to the finish. It's just going to be over sixth rather than anything higher than that. Ewan's going to fall over. I save Ewan from falling over. We lose a little bit of time. <laughs> it's a really silly race, this one. I just, why did I go? I took that line because I was just following the car ahead. Liam is chasing Twisty across the road here. Uh, I, Twisty's trying to get some curb. I want to fight my way past Liam. I want to try and get in the draft of Gliska. We all dive to the hairpin. I mean, this is the point where we are going to fight at the hairpin. We are going to fight very, very viciously at the hairpin, pretty much. Come on. I mean, we're going to get a good draft. We're going to go chasing after these cars up ahead. Uh, Ewan has got alongside. Uh, can we get a slingshot? Can we keep this slingshot going? Get past Ewan. Get in the toe of Gliska for the run to the finish line. I think that's ambitious, really. It's not impossible, but it, we've run super deep into this final corner. Is anyone underneath? No, not at the moment. Uh, we're going to be too far back. It was not a bad effort at all here, but we are going to be too far back, and we are going to be out of slipstream from the cars ahead. Liam's going to try and get it. It won't be enough. I think we get fifth in the end of that one. That's not a bad comeback from where we fell off the road at, I have to say. Them cars, they fell over a lot. <laughs> That's my redeem, say the redeeming feature of them cars. I did get a fastest lap, 56.2. Gliska got a fast lap in the well as well in there, a 56.9, uh, as did you. Uh, you were, I think I towed you around on that final lap. I think that's probably the lap that we did it. Basically, we kind of towed you and up to that group. Another lap, and I would have been in the fight. You know, we were not far away by the end of that. It's a good fun, right? Shame there was a little bit of contact that caused me trouble. However, good fun race. Nevertheless. So, we are on to the second race around here. We've got something a bit faster. We've gone back to a Comet SR. Kind of a firm favourite, really, for racing at the end of the day. It's a lovely car to drive. Generally races pretty well. Uh, I mean, we don't really have any new vehicles at the moment. Uh, <laughs> time of filming, anyway. Not much new vehicles to play with, so we're just going back to some, for some favourites. Less likely to fall over is the Comet. You can spin these on the kerbs. But, yeah, they are much less likely to go for a tumble. So, I mean, hopefully spectacular race in terms of wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. Just not spectacular in terms of massive accidents. <laughs> you're watching my channel, there's a chance you're just wanting to see the rolly, fully overy cars. Um, but we've had that session, now we're going to have the good race, hopefully. Oh, Gliska got really close to the building there. Uh, I had to have a massive lift to not clatter into the door of uh, Gliska's car. Now, these, the spinny bit that these might have fun with that bump. Basically, well, these are going a lot faster and they are a little bit more problematic. I did not want to put my nose in that. That's one of those gaps that, oh god, uh, I'm sorry for my part in that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a limited amount of space and I kind of ran out of grip. Um, sometimes there are, certainly on lap one, there's gaps that are just never going to stay there. It's just, it's not going to ever last, and you're asking for a crash. Oh, and I don't want to crash, particularly. Not on lap one. Uh, not, not on lap one, it's not worth it. I think Ninetales recovered from that little ping in the wall. I know some other cars get affected. In, oh, in that one. We're on a very tight line through all of there. It wasn't, really, it wasn't ideal, it was just where my car was stuck. I've got no slipstream, they've all got organised on the outside. I mean, it's okay, we've got no slipstream off the initial part, but we might actually get to, ooh, this corner first, or they have to have a lift bit narrow through there to try and make it three wide so we'll just wait until it is less narrow and get that pass completed but yeah, oh, the grip in this thing is glorious you really can throw it around and yeah <laughs> it's very very good to drive you have got to be a little bit careful with the bumping they don't like the bump drafting as much they can get quite upset uh, we've got we might actually get the lead into turn one however Oh, <laughs> it's door to door through there. There's a lot of cars now actually going to join us as well. Liam shoots off to the inside. Almost made it, well, I think we were four wide briefly. We get a little help through the middle of that corner. Problem is that we're all now trying to figure out what lane has got some speed. Oh, that's a big crash. The two red cars. I think Danger Man stayed on the track. Well played. <laughs> that could have ended in absolute disaster through there. Uh, oh, we should have a lift. We're going to have a big lift through all of that. Because then we can have a... We, we can have a big lift through there. Why? Because I can get a massive run down here. And this is... That, I seem to get a really good run off of that corner. Bring up the inside of the green car. Oh! That's a solid thing. I didn't even realise they were solid. I thought they were just like wooden posts. Uh, <laughs> we've got the inside of the green car who just pinged off the wall. That was just one of those... Uh, no, nowhere to go. You can't avoid that sort of crash. Um, 
That's almost like I just hope all the more shenanigans has gone on here. I don't quite know what caused that. Um, I was hoping that thing was going to drive through a ball because that would be really fine if it had been. I could have got away with that pretty much with no problems. We've got a better run. We have. We're going to get the toe of Stevie's car. He's going to put us back to third. It could have got a lot worse considering it's a grab reverse. In fact, Liam and Gliska are actually tangled anyway. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's all gone back to kind of where it was last lap with us fighting two and three wide down here. This is a massive, massive draft. I didn't remember these getting such a crazy draft, but I guess on this circuit, this is a track that catch-up is quite effective. It's quite a quick circuit. It's a fun track. Very fun track. Um, but that does mean catch-up is effective around here. Liam's going to give us a push uh, on the exit of that corner. Everyone's going to get a draft at the back of us. Danger Man will shoot past uh, and go towards the lead. So... This is one of those tracks that is quite helpful. If you're second, kind of coming around, oh god, it all got a bit bumpy there. We'll go four and five wide. If you're second coming down towards the start finish line, you're gonna have a really tough time making it work. It's so normally someone's further back. It really depends on how big of a group of cars you have going on. If you have a really big group of cars, cars further back get massive, massive runs. However, if you have a small group of cars, you know, then second place might be the only one that has slid. It all is always on again. As I say, plenty of times, very, very contextual as to what's going to work. And, oh, I'm not sure here. We're going to have to wait and see. I mean, I hope I'm still in the fight at the end of the day. That's what we want to see. We want to be in the fight. We want to be battling for the lead. Liam got a huge slide off of the curb. We're going to be stuck on the outside. For all of this, don't hit the tree. <laughs> Christ. We very nearly met a tree there. We very nearly got far too friendly with the tree on this, on this lap. Liam's gone very wide for all of that. I'm going to get a fantastic run. But it's going to be stuck to the outside up here. We can make that work, especially if Bliska gets a big slide. Me actually being on the outside there helped. I didn't get involved in everyone slowing down. I'm going to try and take avoiding action of Bliska's car. It's not going to help for long. Oh, we're alive. I don't quite know how, but we are alive in all of that. <laughs> I, think, I think the bump on Bliska's car actually straightened us up in some ways there. Oh, I've got nowhere to go. I'm just going to go back into line. We'll get the secondary tow. God, this is absolute madness down these straights. Oh, it's too many cars into one didn't fit. Stinty was the one that came off worse, sadly, in all of that. Are we gonna... There's no one underneath us, so we can just duck down to the inside. It's unlucky for Stinty. Is Stinty going to have time? It's going to basically be like the drive I had to do last race. Uh, <laughs> maybe, although it doesn't look like Stinty's got any friends for slipstreaming with. I'll probably phrase that one better, but never mind. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I think it's the first time I've said it either without thinking. It's, I mean, we're talking about slipstreaming friends here, okay? Uh oh. We're just going to go around here. That's fine. We'll just stick out wide. We're going to lose all the way down to fifth. But we will get a good run off the corner. Um, go, Liam, go. We can try and push a little bit. But we could even see. It's un unlikely with the width of the start finish straight here, but we could even see uh, a pushing battle towards the finish line. If you get to a point where no one's got any space or enough of a run to do it themselves, they might actually have to just push the car ahead of them. Gee, we were three wide through there. That is super fast and bumpy, and we're somehow fitting three cars through all of that. It's... yeah. <laughs> ah, Glissier is waiting for Leah. There's a sensible place. Maybe wait for him, or maybe just miss the corner. I don't know. So it's a sensible place to ping off to that side, but I don't know uh, who knows what's going on. Again, I was not really paying attention to how their battle started. I was busy trying to not spin my own car. Funnily enough, I don't want to go across the curb, so I don't have to. I'm on the inside. I can choose my line. If I want, we're going to lose all of the toe, all of the battle up the hill here. But that's fine. Twisty's died. I don't quite know how, but <laughs> how have you died on this track? I guess fell off and landed on the back of the car. That causes an explosion. Oh, no. I was, uh, there was a spin going on in front of me. I do, I say, I'm sorry to hear this. I saw the crash going on in front of me and I tried to pull across to avoid it. The problem was I didn't realise I wasn't quite clear of Ewan's car. And that's what's going to happen. Stinty's actually got back into that group. Stinty only took a lap to get back into that group. Admittedly, we fell over one another a lot on that lap. So there is hope for me, Ewan, and kind of Gliska to an extent here. There is hope. We've got to work together, though. Go on, Ewan. Go past. Go, 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 go. I'm happy to not even bother curb boosting because I'd rather we swap. The slipstream is better than curb boost, basically. So I'd rather we swap positions there and then we'll slipstream around the next corners. Oh. Oh, I thought I'd just nudge that. I mean, the tiniest of nudges, but I thought I'd just fire it off the track. That was very close. I must have had a wheel literally on the very jagged edge 
of that. So either we are going to be in the best position for this absolutely giga run towards the finish line, which might be possible. Uh, if me, you, and Gliska work well together here, we might get ourselves in that place that we need to be in. God, that's such a good corner. It's fantastic fun when you're absolutely on it, you're flat out, and the cars are just bouncing around in the air ever so slightly. And the Comet is great for it. The Comet has the grip. Uh, to, well, Comet has the grip to give you the confidence to do that. Uh, there's been a bit of a tangle up ahead. I mean, we're up to fourth. We we're there, basically. We are now in this fight. We're in with a chance of a victory. So are a huge number of cars, let's not forget. But we are... We are part of it. If we don't make any mistakes, we don't get involved in any trouble here. Oh, we've got a fantastic run. Oh! <laughs> four wide up towards the hairpin now. This is, yeah, car on the outside decided a better part of this. Just don't, don't do it. I think it was nine times actually who yielded in the end. Yeah, it's just not worth that fight. That fight is asking for trouble. Uh, oh, I can't curb boost. There's only so much curb boosting we can do before we start becoming a real danger to everybody. Nine tails has shot through the middle. I've got no slipstream at the moment here. Me and Stinty are trying to get some draft. Oh, there was cars everywhere. I'd know where to go. Either we're going to be in a perfect place for this run to the line. Danger Man got a little tag as they fought one another. I've got big understeer through all of this. Danger Man's got underneath. Liam's there with the grey car. You and try to get across for some slipstream. This could literally be anybody's race at this moment in time. We've got nowhere to go. We just pushed nine tails. <laughs> what a mad finish. What an absolutely ridiculous finish. I mean, that's what I said. It does come down to the bump drafting. I think Liam got it in the end. We, I, I tried. I had a run, but there was nowhere to go with it. So we just had to bump nine tails. We've got nine tails to second. Uh, we... Nine tails got sixth? What? Oh, maybe, oh, it was Danger Man, I think we must have bumped. Sorry, there's two dark red cars. Very difficult to follow. Uh, <laughs> I think we might have, must have been Danger Man. We pushed to second, perhaps, there. Um, Christ. What a ridiculous race that one was. Uh, <laughs> that was good fun. Less falling over in that one. A couple of little, couple of little mistakes along the way. Um, okay, a little scruffy final lap in a couple of places. It kind of worked in my favour in the end. We jumped up towards the front. Uh, Liam got victory despite the fact being in a, tr in a lamp post at one point on the final lap. So that's not bad. I just wanted to see how much the top group was separated by. Because I'm going to guess not very much. Holy crap. No, it wasn't. From first to, well, about seventh. That's a very small amount of time. That's basically four tenths of a second covered seven cars in that one. Fantastic. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. A big thank you to uh, Stallion for building this wonderful, wonderful circuit. That, though, shall be it for today. Until next time, a goodbye.